Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs for going 11 years this coming Feb. Today I'd like to share Psalm 69 verses 1 to 12. Here is God's word. Save me, O God, for the waters have come up to my neck. I sink in deep mire where, where there is no foothold. I've come into deep waters and the flood sweeps over me. I am weary with my crying. My throat is parched. My eyes grow dim with waiting for my God. More in number than the hairs of my head are those who hate me without cause. Mighty are those who would destroy me, those who attack me with lies. What I did not steal must I now restore? O oh God, you know my folly. The wrongs I have done are not hidden from you. Let not those who hope in you be put to shame through me, O oh Lord God of hosts. Let not those who seek you be brought to dishonor through me, O oh God of Israel. For it is for your sake that I have borne reproach, that dishonor has covered my face. I have become a stranger to my brothers, an alien to my mother's son. For zeal for your house has consumed me, and the reproaches of those who reproach you have fallen on me. When I wept and humbled my soul with fasting, I became my reproach. When I made sackcloth my clothing, I became a byword to them. I am the talk of those who sit in the gate, and the drunkards make songs about me. Psalm 69, 1-12. And here is the poem I wrote uh, based on this psalm. Save me from my enemies and my folly. Oh my God, save me from my own folly and from my enemies. I am overwhelmed by all their attacks. Lord, help me. Forgive me for all my transgressions and weaknesses. I need your deliverance from all that keeps me in distress. Let not all those whom the enemy uses prosper. Equip me with your grace. Give me courage. Save me from all those who plot evil schemes. Let me never succumb to my nature so I can avoid sin. Reflection. Why is it important to come to the throne of God when the enemy attacks us? And what did David mean in his plea in verse 6? Why did he say this? Um, when we are attacked by our enemies, it's not a hard thing to resist retaliating or defending ourselves. But we know that in the Word of God, it says that God is our deliverer, God is our shield, God is our protector, God is our rescuer, God is our salvation. So... Why would we even want to think of saving ourselves when we have the God of the, the universe, the God of, of all creation, as our God, who does that for us? We cannot take uh, God's place of deliverance because that is not our role, that is His role. So it's important for us to go to the throne of God, but because of the fall of man, um, we, our nature is to take care of ourselves, to rely on ourselves, and uh, when we do that, we fail. So what did David mean in his plea in verse 6? In verse 6 it says, Let not those who hope in you be put to shame through me, O Lord God of hosts. Let not those who seek you be brought to dishonor through me, O God of Israel. So we know uh, in the Bible that David was... Uh, the anointed king by God and so he doesn't he he's asking for forgiveness for all the sins because he's human and he has so many sins just like all of us but he's asking God to not make those sins that he has committed be um, be taken against those whom he's those whom he rule because he's a king he has a he has a kingdom, and um, that those 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 people who serve him 
should not be punished for his own sins. That is very humble and a very, um, very accountable person, accountable authority, leadership. How, mu how much do we find those nowadays where they take responsibility for their own sins? In our society, everyone wants to uh, blame shift or to defend themselves or not to recognize that they have wronged somebody. So I encourage you to go to God whenever you feel like you're being overwhelmed by the attacks of the enemy uh, because that's what David did and it probably worked because without uh, God as our deliverer, as our protector, we can never win. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarz.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos for the Lord. Thanks for watching.